Evan Williams has been an absolute force in the back end of that Brewers rotation. 30 consecutive scoreless appearances last season, which is a franchise record for a single year. And that's where we can find Devin Williams in the friendly confines of Wrigley Field as we welcome him in here. Alana Rizzo, Christopher Russo. Devin, it looks cold, my friend. I don't think it would be opening day if the Brewers were not opening in Wrigley. But thanks for being with us. Uh, it looks a bit cold. How does it feel out there? Uh, yeah, it's it's pretty cold, but you know, I'm gonna be tucked up in that bullpen, so I'll be all right. <laughs> yeah, that bullpen helps him. Uh, Devin, how about World Baseball Classic? You did a great job there in getting revved up again for the regular season after all that uh, juice that we had last week in the WC. Thoughts with that for a sec? Go ahead. Yeah, no, I mean, it was a really cool experience. Um, you know, that was, it was probably one of the craziest atmospheres I've ever played in, um, but yeah, it was it was a little difficult going back to to spring after that, but I'm I'm glad to be starting the season. You made your first All-Star team last year, and when I think about you guys, Devin, I think about the fact that you guys have such amazing pitching. Not only you in the back end of the bullpen, but really your starting rotation as well. What do you want to do about your game to take it up a notch, specifically the way that you're making adjustments to that fastball? Yeah, I mean, I think it's just continuing to grow as a as a pitcher. You know. Uh, continue to not be predictable and you know keep guys on their toes you know keeping them you know off balance um, and just continuing that you know Devin uh, Brewers a little under the radar you know everybody loves St. Louis and you know they love the teams in the NL East and this Milwaukee team two years ago was obviously a, a you know this and won a division last year you're in the race struggled a little bit late but you get Peralta back you have good starting pitching you got you in the back end of the bullpen you know, maybe Winkler hits, he does a great job, finds himself again. So this team is uh, can be very sneaky and it should be pretty good. Let me get your thoughts on that. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, you could say we're under the radar, but I mean, that's your opinion. Uh, you know, I think the, the mood of the room is that we got a really good group of guys. Um, and I'm excited to see what we can do this year. We got a healthy Winker, you know, healthy Freddie, healthy pigeon staff right now. So we just need to keep that up. And I think... You know, um, the talent will will show out at the end. Devin, you're entering your first full season as the Milwaukee Brewers closer. How different is that ninth inning when you take the ball? Uh, to be honest, I, I don't really see it as any different from the eighth. You know, my job is to go out there and get three outs without letting them score, and it, it's the same job now, um, just a different inning. So, a same mentality, same mindset, but just a different number inning. Uh, obviously, Council does a great job with that bullpen, Devin, and he makes sure you guys don't get overworked, probably especially early in the, early in the year in cold weather. Thoughts with that for a sec. Go ahead. Yeah, he does a great job uh, managing, you know, workload and making sure guys don't get gassed out too early, you know, and just keeping an eye on things like that. Um, you know, he's he's been really good in my time here, so I have no complaints when it comes to that. Devin, I had mentioned the 30 consecutive scoreless appearances. When you guys go through stretches like that, do you remember what was working? Is there a, is there a sense? Do you feel a certain way? Kind of take me back through that time when you were had such a great stretch. Um, I mean, for me specifically, there's nothing really different that I do at any at any point. You know, it's I I feature two pitches. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna show the third one a little bit this year probably but uh and i think it's it's just your mentality um you're just really locked in in those periods and you just keep giving me the ball you know it's just kind of one of those situations so it's just like finding that that mental focus and you know carrying it uh thoughts on rules dev i mean and the fact that i don't think it's going to bother the pitchers as much as the hitters with the pitch clock uh, but uh, obviously you get the ball, throw it, and some of these hitters are going to have to realize you've got to be in that box with eight seconds to go. Give me some thoughts on the pitch clock scenario, how it work for you in spring training. Yeah, I mean, I didn't really get to um, play with it that much because I only had four, four spring training outings with me playing in the WBC, but um, I think it's going to be a little bit of an adjustment period for, for both the hitters and the pitchers, but um, I think in the end it'll, it'll probably be good. Uh, you know, get the game moving along, but uh, I don't know. We might have to make some tweaks, but that'll that'll come with time. Devin, you said something that intrigued me. You said you were going to probably show a third pitch here a little bit this season. Great changeup, great fastball that you've been working on. We just discussed that. Why the need for a third pitch? Uh, 
just to be unpredictable. You know, uh, you, you play in this league for a couple years, guys know you, they know what you want to do, you know, they know what to look for. So it's just keeping them off balance. Uh, Dev, I know a lot of American League teams, you don't play the same amount of clubs. It's a balanced schedule. So you're going to face a lot of hitters in the American League that, you know, both they're not going to know you and you're not going to know them. That's usually an advantage to the pitchers, I would think. How about that? Yeah, I mean, I think so. Um, I think it'll be interesting to see the hitters. You know, they don't get to, you know, have six, seven at-bats off of you now like we did in the past because we don't play those teams, um, you know, 18, 19 times, I think it was, previously. So it'll be interesting to see how they adjust to that. Devin, we appreciate you taking the time before a cold opening day. The Brewers <laughs> at the Cubs. It is Corbin Burns going up against Marcus Stroman. We appreciate you. Best of luck this season. All right. Thank you, guys.